Hello students, under the aegis of Director General Higher Education Haryana, myself, Dr. Neeru, Assistant Professor in Zoology, Shrimati Aruna Asaf Ali, Government PG College, Kalka, will discuss with you type study of RAT part 4 today. In this part, first of all, we will discuss the endocrine system. The system related with the ductless glands is called as endocrine system and these glands secrete the hormones in the body. First of all, we will take the thyroid gland. The thyroid gland consists of two overlobes which are present on the ventrolateral side of the trachea and these lobes are connected with a glandular band which is called as isthmus. This gland secretes the hormone thyroxine which has the following functions. It regulates the basal metabolic rate of the body as it controls the cell respiration and energy production in mitochondria. It controls the physical, mental and sexual growth of the body also and this effect is called as calorigenic effect. This hormone also controls tissue differentiation and metamorphosis. It controls working of renal tubules of the kidneys and thus controls the urine output and helps in homeothermy. Next is the parathyroid gland which are two pair of glands attached on the anterior lateral side of the thyroid gland. This gland secretes the parathormone which is also called as collapse hormone and this hormone increases the calcium level by increasing the absorption of calcium from the intestine and reducing the excretion of calcium in the urine. Next is the adrenal gland which are a pair of conical glands present on the upper border of kidneys. Here in this diagram you can see the adrenal glands present above the kidneys so they are also called as suprarenals. Adrenal gland is made up of outer adrenal cortex which is mesodermal in origin and it secretes the three hormones. One is the mineralocorticoids which include aldosterone. It maintains the high sodium levels and low potassium levels in the blood and it is also called as salt retaining hormone. It also increases the water reabsorption. Next hormone secreted by adrenal cortex is the glucocorticoids which include cortisol, cortisone, corticosterone etc. These hormones are meant for the carbohydrate metabolism and increase the rate of gluconeogenesis and decrease the peripheral utilization of the glucose and they have the anti-inflammatory actions also and they are anti-allergic also. Next is the sex corticoids or andro androgens. They stimulate the development of secondary sexual characters. Here in this diagram, you can see the adrenal cortex and adrenal medulla. Inner side of adrenal gland is the inner medulla. Adrenal medulla, it secretes the two hormones, adrenaline which is also called as epinephrine and non-adrenaline which is also called as non-epinephrine. Function of adrenaline is increase the rate of heartbeat and cardiac output so it increases the blood pressure. It also increases the rate of tissue oxidation and increases the BMR. Increases sugar level in the blood by stimulating glycogenolysis in liver. It increases lipolysis. And it also helps in dilation of pupil of eye. It increases the blood supply to the heart. So it also acts as a vasodilator. And uh, hyperactivity of this adrenaline causes the hypertension. Non-adrenaline is almost resembles the adrenaline in biological effects except it, uh, it operates during normal state. Next gland is the thymus. 
it is the soft bilobed mass of lymphoid tissue present in front of the heart in case of red between the two anterior preca valves this thymus gland secretes the hormone thymosin and what are the functions of thymosin thymus is the site of differentiation of t lymphocytes of immune system so this thymosin increases the activity of t lymphocytes it also increases the rate of cell division and controls the rate of growth in early life it also depresses neuromuscular transmission next gland is the pineal body which is a small knob like body present at the tip of the pineal stalk on the dorsal side of the mid brain and it secretes the hormone melatonin which controls the development and concentration of melanin makes the skin lighter in color and plays a regulatory role in sexual and reproductive function and it is also supposed to be related with the sleep next is the pituitary gland pituitary gland it is a small gland present below the hypothalamus and connected with the hypothalamus by infundibular stalk this pituitary gland consists of two parts adenohypophysis and neurohypophysis first is the adenohypophysis adenohypophysis part of the pituitary gland secretes the following hormones one is the tsh which is the thyroid stimulating hormone this hormone increase the iodine uptake and synthesis of thyroxin and break down of thyroid follicles to release the thyroxin next is the acth which is adrenocorticotrophic hormone which increases the secretion of corticoids especially glucocorticoids from the adrenal cortex next hormone is the sth or gh which is the somatotrophic hormone or also called as growth hormone which stimulates the growth of the body by increasing the growth of bones and increasing the lipolysis in adipose tissue and increasing amino acid uptake and protein synthesis next hormone is the lactogenic hormone which is also called as prolactin hormone or lth deutrotrophic hormone it helps in the proliferation of mammary glands and formation of milk after the childbirth and stimulates the secretion of progesterone to form the corpus luteum next is the gonadotrophins gonadotrophins are of two types fsh and lh fsh is the follicle stimulating hormone and lh is the luteinizing hormone fsh uh, increases the uh, uh, secretion of estrogens from the ovaries helps in the gametogenesis in gonads and helps in ovulation from the ovary lh luteinizing hormone it also helps in the ovulation from the ovary and formation of corpus luteum next is the msh which is the melanophore stimulating hormone also called as intermedin it controls the synthesis and dispersal of melanin granules in the skin so it causes the darkening of the skin next part of the pituitary gland is the neurohypophysis which secretes the two hormones oxytocin and vasopressin oxytocin का क्या रोल होता है इट हेल्प इन द कंट्रेक्शन ऑफ स्मूथ मसल्स ऑफ द मायोमेट्रियम ऑफ द यूट्रस ड्यूरिंग द चाइल्ड बर्थ एंड ड्यूरिंग फॉर द नॉर्मल डिलीवरी एंड ऑल्सो हेल्प इन द कंट्रेक्शन ऑफ स्मूथ मसल्स सराउंडिंग द एलवियल आई ऑफ द मेमरी ग्लैंड ड्यूरिंग द सकिंग ऑफ निपल्स बाय द इन्फेंट एंड हेल्प इन द रिलीजिंग ऑफ मिल्क next is the vasopressin hormone which is also called as adh anti diuretic hormone it helps in the contraction of smooth muscles of arterioles so helps in the uh, controlling of the blood pressure 
and also helps in the osmoregulation that is water balancing of the body fluids next gland is the pancreas yellow colored heterocrine gland heterocrine gland matlab it has exocrine part also or endocrine part also it is present in the loop of duodenum endocrine part yani the part of the pancreas which helps in the secretion of hormones is called as the islets of langerhans which consists of three types of cells alpha cells beta cells and gamma cells alpha cells they secrete the hormone glucagon and beta cells they secrete the hormone insulin glucagon is the antagonistic to insulin function of insulin is to stimulate the utilization of glucose and it stimulates glycogenesis that is conversion of glucose into glycogen in muscle and liver cells and conversion of excess of glucose into fats and glucagon works opposite to the insulin it increases the sugar level in blood by promoting glycogenolysis and inhibiting conversion of glucose into lactic acid next are the gonads gonads also act as the endocrine gland testis secretes a group having a group of interstitial cells or cells of leading in it which secrete the hormone testosterone and function of testosterone is to control the growth and development of male secondary sex organs like epididymis prostate gland seminal vesicles penis etc testosterone also helps in the stimulating the development of male secondary sexual characters and stimulates spermatogenesis and maturation of sperms ovaries ovaries secrete two type of hormones estrogens and progesterone estrogens jo hai they stimulate the growth and normal functioning of female secondary sex organs country, uh, or they uh, develop the help uh, the female in developing the secondary sexual characters and decreases the secretion of fsh and function of hormone progesterone are stimulate the proliferation of endometrium of uterus and prepares it for implantation of young one helps in placenta formation and normal development of fetus now we will discuss urinogenital system this system is formed of two intimately related systems urinary system or excretory system and reproductive system first of all we will discuss urinary or excretory system urinary or excretory system mainly consists of kidneys rat is a ureotelic organism main excretory product is urea so such animals are called as ureotelic organisms and now the kidneys the main excretory organ in the rat they are compact bean shaped attached to the body wall on either side of the vertebral column you can see the shape of kidney that is the bean shaped here it has a, on the median side there is a concavity this part here it is a concavity which is called as hilus or hilum each kidney is composed of about 1 million uriniferous tubules or nephrons which are held together by the connective tissue and surrounded by the tough white fibrous sheath which is called as capsule this is the capsule and uh, the kidney is mainly divided into two parts renal cortex this is the outer part renal cortex and inner is the renal medulla
structure and functional unit of kidneys are called as nephrons and these nephrons are also called as renal tubules or uriniferous tubules and they are about 1 million per kidney nephrons are found and mainly they are uh, convoluted in the peripheral part and central part these are straight and this nephron is formed of following parts first is the bowman's capsule bowman's capsule is a double walled cup shaped structure present in the renal cortex part of the kidney and it is formed of a thin semi permeable squamous epithelium which is formed of flat cells which are called as podocytes and in the cavity of Bowman's capsule are present a group of capillaries which are called as glomerulus. And glomerulus capillary walls have numerous minute pores. And the permeability of this membrane is about 100 to 500 times more as compared to the usual capillaries. And both Bowman's capsule and glomerulus, they are together called as the Malpighian body or renal corpuscle next part is the proximal convoluted tubule these proximal convoluted tubules are present in the cortex part of the kidney they are convoluted and lined by the brush border cuboidal epithelium having microvilli in them next part of the nephron is the loop of henley which runs straight in the renal medulla they are u-shaped and formed of thin descending and thick ascending limbs and they are lined by the endothelial cells and next is the distal convoluted tubule which are convoluted present in the cortex of the kidney and they are lined by the columnar epithelium and opens in the collecting tubule so in this diagram you can see this the Bowman's capsule having glomerulus capillary network and here is the proximal convoluted tubule Next, this is the loop of Henle which is U-shaped and it goes into the distal convoluted tubule which opens into the collecting tubule. And each collecting tubule receives about 8 uriniferous tubules. Or ultimately it forms into uh, larger uh, collecting ducts which open into the still larger ducts of Bellini which are present near the renal pyramids and what are renal pyramids they are the conical masses of renal medulla which is present in the kidney and uh, in between the renal uh, pyramids some part of uh, kidney cortex extends and th this forms the columns of Bertini now the next part of the kidney is the ureters. Ureters are the one pair of long, narrow, muscular, tubular structures. They arise from the hilum part of the kidney by the renal pelvis. And they open into the dorsal wall of the urinary bladder. So, what is the function of ureters? Uh, they conduct the urine from kidneys to urinary uh, bladder by the peristaltic movement next is the urinary bladder they are the large pear shaped sac present in the pelvic region of abdominal cavity and their wall is lined by the smooth muscles and main function of urinary bladder is to temporarily store the urine in it and narrow part of the urinary uh, bladder is called as the neck of the bladder and it is with the internal urethral orifice. One aperture is there which is called as internal urethral orifice. And this aperture is guarded by a sphincter. And it opens. There is a small triangular structure in it which is called as trigone. In the wall of bladder there is a present trigone. Which is formed of three openings. Two openings of the ureters and the one opening of the internal urethral orifice. And next is the urethra, which is a muscular and tubular structure and opens outside. It opens in females, it opens out directly by external urethral orifice 
which is present above the vaginal orifice but in mains it joins with the ejaculatory duct to form the common urinogenital canal which opens by the urinogenital aperture at the tip of the penis in this diagram you can see the kidneys having the ureters opening into the bladder and this is the next urethra now we will study the reproductive system in rats sexes are separate so there are two types of reproductive system are there first is male reproductive system this male reproductive system consists of a pair of testes which are smooth oval enclosed in thin and tough white fibrous sheath which is called as tunica albuginea these testes descend into an extra abdominal sac which is called as scrotum its wall is consisting of a layer of connective tissue muscles and skin and it reacts to the variations in temperature scrotal sacs are connected to the abdominal cavity by inguinal canals and in scrotal sacs testes lie under the peritoneum and that peritoneal fold is called as tunica vaginalis and it is completely separated from peritoneum of siloam a ligament from testes and scrotum joined to form the gubernaculum which helps the testes to descend into the scrotal sac each testes is divided into various lobules by various septa it is divided into various lobules and each lobule has convoluted seminiferous tubules in it which are also called as scripts and each testis has almost about 900 seminiferous tubules in it you can see in this diagram these are the seminiferous tubules and each seminiferous tubule is lined by the germinal epithelium which is having germ cells and sertoli cells germ cells are cuboidal and form the bulk of the epithelium and they undergo spermatogenesis and form haploid and motile male gametes which are called as spermatozoa you can see here the various uh, stages of spermatogenesis spermatids are there secondary spermatocyte primary spermatocyte spermatogonium is there and in between them is the sertoli cells which are also called as nerve cells they provide nutrition to the developing sperms and scattered in between the connective tissue and between the seminiferous tubules are present leydig cells which are also called as interstitial cells and they secrete the male sex hormone which is called as testosterone and which controls the development of secondary sexual characters in male now the genital ducts first is the epididymis on the posterior lateral side of the each testis arises highly coiled elongated flattened structure which is called as epididymis and this tube is differentiated into three parts head or caput epididymis body or corpus epididymis tail or cauda epididymis head or caput epididymis receives the sperms from the testes by fine ciliated ductules which are called as vasa afferentia and body or corpus epididymis it stores the sperms temporarily and tail or cauda epididymis is the lower part and it is involved in the storage nutrition and physiological maturation of the sperms next genital duct is the vasa deferentia or also called as sem seminal ducts seminal ducts they are long narrow muscular tubular structure and they join the ducts of the seminal vesicles to form the ejaculatory ducts and 
function of vasa differentia is to conduction conduct the sperms by peristalsis to the urethra next is the urethra which arises from the urinary bladder and it also joins with the ejaculatory duct to form the urinogenital canal which opens at the tip of the penis and penis is the cylindrical erectile copulatory organ which forms the external genitalia of the male red and tip of this penis is called as glans penis which is covered by a covering which is called as prepuce and it helps in the copulation you can see in this diagram excretory system as well as main reproductive system here it is the testis covered by the scrotal sac this is the epididymis vas deferens leading to urethra and then both form the ejaculatory duct and this is the copulatory organ penis now some accessory glands are also associated with the male reproductive system and they are of following types first is the seminal vesicles they are one pair of elongated glands they are muscular seculated glands and they are present in the pelvis between the bladder and the rectum and their ducts they join the vasa deferentia and secretion of seminal vesicle forms the 60% of the semen and it is mainly formed of prostaglandins which stimulate the vaginal contractions and help in the fusion of gametes next accessory gland is the prostate glands large lobulated glands they surround the proximal part of the urethra and they have an alkaline secretion which contains some lipids citric acid bicarbonate ions etc and their function um, is to their secretion forms the 30% of the se uh, semen its function is to activate the sperms and provide nutrition to the sperms and neutralizes the acidity of urine which may kill the sperms next gland is the cowper's glands it is one pair p sized and present at the base of the penis its function is to secrete the mucus like substance to lubricate the vagina so secretion of these accessory sex glands and sperms they together form the semen or seminal fluid now we will discuss female reproductive system it consists of number 1 a pair of ovaries ovaries in red are present in the lumbar or pelvic region and they are attached to the mid dorsal wall by mesovarium and they are small sized each ovary is lined by a cuboidal germinal epithelium and in the inner side of the ovary is present matrix which is differentiated into outer cortex and inner medulla every ovary contains in it various primary or ovarian follicles at different stages of oogenesis primary follicle consists of a central ovum which is surrounded by a layer of follicle cells and a growing follicle is surrounded by theca which has two layers theca externa and theca interna and every month a primary follicle transforms into a mature or graphene follicle which contains a secondary oocyte into it in this diagram you can see the internal structure of the mammalian ovary which consists of, uh, of internal stroma having various primary follicles these are the graphene mature follicles this is also a graphene follicle and here it is egg nest and surrounded by ovary is covered by a germinal epithelium now the oviducts 
oviducts are not directly attached to the ovaries and they are a pair of oviducts are present and they are divided into two types fallopian tubes and uterus fallopian tubes uh, is the anterior part of the oviduct and they are very narrow and coiled in structure and they are lined by the ciliated epithelium they open into the ciliom near the ovary by a funnel shaped opening which is called as ostium and this ostium receives the ova next is the uterus which is the posterior part of the oviducts they are broad thick walled highly vascular and distensible there are two uterus as there which join to form a median uterus and this type of uterus is called as bicornuate and uterus is also called as posterior median uterus is also called as cervix and it opens into the vagina vagina is the pink red canal between the cervix and vulva and vulva is the external female genitalia vulva which is the external female genitalia here you can see the diagram of the female reproductive system it is the excretory system this is the ovary female reproductive system here it is oviduct posterior uteri joining to form the median uteri ultimately they they join to uh, for, uh, open into the vagina and vagina opens out by vulva now the some glands which are also associated with the female reproductive system they are the mammary glands they are six pairs present in the rat they are in the form of small outgrowths which are called as teats and three are on the thoracic part of the rat and three mammary glands are on the abdominal region of the rat and the, these teats get enlarged during the pregnancy and lactation now the breeding and life history male male rat attains the puberty yani it becomes mature in about 75 days and female rat in 72 days fertilization is internal female allows copulation during estrous period only and during copulation male leaves large number of sperms into the vagina and if fertilization occurs then after 2 days zygote is formed and zygote gets implanted through placenta and the period of gestation is 20 to 30 days in red means young one is produced after 20 to 30 days after the fertilization and there are 4 to 6 litters are reported in a year in case of red and litter size is 5 to 7 means rat ek time pe 5 se 7 young ones ko produce karta hai aur is tarah ki jo population hai 4 to 6 liters yani ki 4 to 6 times jo hai wo young ones produce ho sakte hain ek year mein this is all about the reproductive system now the associated test paper with this part of the video first of all we will discuss very short answer questions Question number one is how long gestation period is found in rat? So which this I have told you that it is about twenty to thirty days. How many mammary glands are present in rat? They are six pairs. Question number three is which endocrine gland is called as master gland? It is the pituitary gland. Question number four, what are islets of Langerhans? Islets of Langerhans are found in the pancreas. It's their endocrine part, and they secrete the hormone insulin and glucagon. Question number five is what are androgens? Androgens are the male sex hormones. Question number six is what is the role of pineal body? Pineal body. It is also an endocrine gland and secretes the melatonin and helps in the coloration of the body. Question number seven is what is ureotelic mode of excretion? When urea is excreted as an excretory product, that is the ureotelic mode. 
and question number 8 is what is scrotum scrotum is outside membrane present around the testes of the rat next are the short answer questions question number 1 is explain the male urinogenital system of rat question number 2 describe the structure of nephron of rat question number 3 what are adrenal glands and describe their hormones question number 4 explain hormones of adenohypophysis and question number 5 is draw the diagram of ts ovary of rat now the long answer questions question number 1 describe the female reproductive system of rat question number 2 explain the urinary system of rat and number 3 list endocrine glands of rat their hormones and functions thank you